Well, today I had to figure out how to record a, a Skype conversation on Skype. I have to do a number of interviews uh, in connection with the research that I'm part of, and that is why I had to figure out a way of how to record my interviews on Skype. So, in case you have the same need, I have prepared this little tutorial uh, for you. Just to remember, before you record your Skype conversation, make sure that the person you are talking to on Skype is fully aware that your Skype session is being recorded. The reason why I had to find my own way uh, is that uh, actually I didn't like all the options that were offered on the internet uh, as to how to set up a free of charge uh, Skype conversation recording for uh, MacBook uh, computer. Uh, one of the options or solutions that was more or less fine was the one uh, done through the garage something whatever application uh, but uh, I didn't like it so I decided to do something I, I, I felt that the QuickTime player should have enough capabilities for, for that and I tried to work towards doing it through QuickTime player and actually I succeeded uh, well first of all what I did I downloaded uh, the Soundflower uh, application I googled for it and then I downloaded it and then uh, uh, I installed it uh, at the end of the installation they asked to uh, restart the computer I restarted it and there it was installed and ready to go so then I went to the launch pad and uh, I went to this area and in that area I selected audio MIDI setup and in the audio MIDI setup I went to this plus and selected create aggregate device no. So I pressed the aggregate device was created in the aggregate device. I selected this three built-in microphone, built-in output, and Sunflower 2CH, and then uh, I selected also drift correction for each one of those. After that, I went down to that plus area again and selected create multi-output device. When multi-output device was created, I selected built-in output and Sunflower 2CH and as well drift correction for both of them. When that was done, I went to Skype and in the microphone section I selected aggregate device. In the uh, ringing section I selected multi-output device and in the speaker section I selected multi-output device as well so as a result it looked like this aggregate device for microphone multi-output device for ringing and multi-output device for speakers uh, after that I went to the launchpad again and uh, started the quick time player uh, the quick time player appeared here at the bottom then I did kind of a right click uh, and selected new audio recording uh, in the new audio recording um, I went to this um, uh, little arrow and a menu unfolded in the menu that unfolded under the microphone I selected aggregate device and uh, after that, when that was done, I, I pressed, uh, uh, actually I, I went to Skype, open Skype, uh, then found that Skype test call section, then I went back to that audio recording, pressed the record button, then switched to the Skype test call section, pressed uh, the st start uh, Skype test call and uh, the test call started and thus it was recorded when it was done I went back to audio recording uh, section uh, 
audio recording uh, and stopped the recording and that was it and it worked thank you